um, how did you know you were funny when you were young? Did you know you were funny? What was going on with you? Uh, yeah, I knew. I I, I knew I was funny. I was kind of a dickhead growing up, like yeah. in school and shit. Yeah, I always had fun making fun of people. Oh yeah, talking shit. When you're young, that's the I best loved way. It. I loved it. Yeah, yelling. Yeah. Class school. What's what's better than being funny in school? Farting in class. I never farting did it. You did it? Oh, I used to. Yes. Wow. And dude, my one buddy used to fart. Yeah, he used to really do it. And he would come up to you and be like, it was a funny joke. He, he, would, he would walk up to you and go, yeah. who do you want me to pass this gas to? Oh. And you go, you'd pick someone and he would walk up to their desk, fart on the desk. Ooh. How fun is that? Dude, he used to shit differently. Uh huh. In high school, he would shit different. He would come up a different way to take a shit. Uh-huh. And me and all my friends would come in and watch him. Like sometimes he would hold himself up from the top of the stalls mm-hmm. and drop it in. Oh yeah, he would plank at the top with his ass down. Ooh, <laughs> we got in trouble. A teacher came in. It was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> he was holding himself up. His face was dark red because it was so hard to do, dude. Oh, it was yeah. hard to do. It was sure. so hard. He would drop like one drop out. We'd be like, oh. yo, let's go. <laughs> People were screaming. A math teacher came in. It was like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Get out of here. We all had to run. You're like, yeah. divide this, bitch, yeah, and dude. he's just shitting. <laughs> yeah, dude. There is yeah. something amazing. Shit is like such magic because it's like you can just make shit come out of your body. It's almost yeah. like doing magic, you know? I've never had any really big dick injuries, to be honest. This I've had my, small dick injuries. my first. <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah, this, got, is my got, first, this is my first penis injury. Did you ever I do got, a penis crash? No, what's that? It pops out. And you go, you just like, jam yeah, lady, yeah, jam it, yes. you know, lady. Yeah, yeah. yeah see, yeah. that's what happened. Except this time, there's a fingernail there. Ah, yeah. You Normally, had the, you had yeah. the, the, the mythical. The girl always, yeah, that's funny. What? We both talked over each other three times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I was, like, <laughs> I was like the <laughs> opposite of a harmony. Like, so what were you saying? I'm sorry. No, you go ahead. I was saying you encountered the mythical vagina dentata, dude. Yes. A tooth vagina. <laughs> True. <laughs> she tooth. could have it, and she lied about her hand. <laughs> Yeah, she is a, a demon. Rogue, you got a rogue tooth in there? The vagina de tante, dude. <laughs> Folklore by the Native Americans. Gardini, you like that one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's going to be delighted to hear this. What? About she's this a, whole ordeal. Yeah, yeah. Well, Whatever. yeah, that can go one of two ways. Sometimes it can get like, oh, you know, you're joking around. But yeah. you were just joking around about you getting sliced. Yeah, my penis was cut. Yeah. Anyway, hit you with that hill razor, dude. Did you have to call for a new sheets? No, it wasn't like that. Towels? No, I was just like holding a no. fish. Yeah, yeah. I I gripped it. <laughs> you like, oh, you applied a tourniquet. Yeah, I really did. I applied it tight. <laughs> yeah, I was worried. <laughs> dude, I I was like, no, it's not bad. And then I went, just I ran in the into the, squeezing. I went to the hotel bathroom and I let go for a second. I was like, it's actually pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's very bad. <laughs> I was gobbling up Trump 2020 memorabilia. Yeah. I was buying it anytime it's I funny. saw it. Anytime I saw it, I'd buy it. And and the problem with that is, is you move into a new house yeah. and you have people move you and they are putting away uh, 12-inch dildos, guns, Trump. Like, I look like a fucking lunatic on paper. Sure. But I get like, and then you don't even, the other problem is it's so all over your life that you don't even realize it. So like I have a Trump sticker on my microwave in here and Miss Pat came in and with with all with like three yeah. other black women and they all, and you they see something and they just go uh and you don't even realize yeah. it's there and you're like oh it's a joke like I I bought it I was in Arizona like yeah I put up a Trump flag my daughters were gone <laughs> okay I put up a <laughs> <laughs> you really leaned into this bit. You're like, I voted for him. I donated. I mean, the whole bit was crazy. <laughs> this is Answer the Internet. Uh, would you rather have the ability to drink with no hangover, be able to pull any girl at the bar, or become friends with Joe Pesci? Definitely not friends with Joe Pesci. I don't give a fuck. Why we... The guy, first off, he's a dickhead in every movie he's in. He literally seems like the worst guy possible to hang out with. Uh, you can walk in with Joe Pesci and be like, why the fuck is, why did Shane kill us here? Yeah, dude, why, <laughs> and me and him. Yeah, that would be the icon, that'd be great. No. <laughs> no. Uh, I would definitely drink with no hangover, for sure. Pull any girl, who cares? How old are you, 32? I'm 32. And the hangover is brutal. 
the hangovers are like, I'm starting to get to the point where I need to quit drinking. Yeah. See, I don't And it sucked. Oh, it's like, really? where the fuck is Shane Gillis? <laughs> I, some of these guys just plow right through it. Like, I, this one guy, <laughs> he's, I mean, I like him. He's a nice guy. Yeah. This is some fucking dude from Canada that sends me <laughs> pictures of his food every day. <laughs> <laughs> like, Wait, what meal? Single day. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Constantly grilling meat. <laughs> and he so just he's sends your me a personal Joe Rogan Instagram opening feed. Opening the fucking grill and filming it, and that's it. And I'll occasionally tap like on it. Well, there's yeah. your first problem oh, that's, every day. You know, yeah. I didn't realize it's been a while since he sent me some meat. Oh! From the Matt and Shane's secret little tiny podcast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, is that how you want to start? <laughs> Do you want to go with that? Everybody, the hilarious Shane Gillis is with us. Hey. Have you seen college kids lately? No, but there's good-looking girls at FSU. Always have been. I was a troll. Yeah. Walking around them. Yeah. I was afraid to look at them. You're yeah. Old. They're like babies, huh? They are. Well, like, they're beautiful babies. Yeah, they're, they're some... <laughs> when we were in high school, I, remember, I went to high school in Florida. Yeah. We would just like... Pe- that was what, what they would try to sell you on to go to... Any one of the schools, they'd be like, "Go to FSU because the girls are unbelievable." Why? Why? What is it about Florida? Just fucking State? hot. It attracts yeah, hot, hot fucking chicks. Boy, the guys were hot too. Yeah, and they were mm-hmm. mean. They were mean to me because I was wearing a Notre Dame shirt and I'm pale. They criticized me for being pale. Oh, what did wow. they say to you? They said, "Have you ever seen the sun, <laughs> freak?" <laughs> guy called me a homo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one guy said, "I swear to God." One guy, one mm-hmm. frack kid yelled from his balcony, "You probably voted for Biden." Wow. Yeah. Nice. Which actually hurt. That one hurt. That hurt. I did. I, look, I didn't. Yeah. You know, but that's an insult. That's an insult. That's like you are a pussy. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he was yeah, saying. Yeah, that's what you he know said. what I mean? That's for sure what he said. You can look at someone and be like, "Fucking Biden voters." It's like, Whoa, dude. Feeble. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that is. <laughs> he yelled it from a balcony, and he was it was him and his hot friends. Yeah. And it was me <laughs> and my other two pale yeah. Irish friends. Wade, thanks for being here. To be here. So how did you get your start in this urinal game world? Well, uh, sort of a while back I was at my son's t-ball game and uh, a couple of the dads from the other team were mouthing off and uh, I just said right there, I said, let's see, let's see who's got the strongest stream and I took him right into the nearest John, the Porter John, and uh, had at it. I was hitting the back of that wall so loud, dogs were barking. <laughs> Thursday in San Francisco. I was at Cobb's. Mm-hmm. Joe Avery, I think his last name's Avery. I, I hope I'm not fucking that up. He's a great comedian. He he had the tendies yeah. in the green room. He had the chicken tendies on Thursday. He had the test bag. And he said, geez, these things are fucking my stomach up and threw them out. <laughs> That's he, when I knew. He didn't, even, wait, he didn't even finish the tendies? He didn't even finish the tendies. He was like, these are, these, something's wrong. <laughs> I'm not putting this on the club. <laughs> but the next night, I was like, that might have been a bad batch. Either way, yeah. I'm getting tendies. For sure. So I mean, I how, ordered, how much have you been looking forward to that? How long have you been looking forward to that? As soon as he told me they made him sick, I was like, that's it must, good. It must be good. That's a good batch. That's a good batch. Because Joe's relative. He looks like a normal, healthy guy. Yeah, yeah. I was like, he probably can't handle it. For sure. He can't handle the heat of the true tendies. He didn't have the tolerance. He doesn't even build up the natural he tolerance. He has been eating tendies every week. Yeah. So I ordered them. EOD would all the tendies. I ordered them. <laughs> and I'm going to blame the tendies, but it's <laughs> just because I'm trying to pretend it's not alcohol. <laughs> on Friday, I woke or Friday, I got them. But Saturday morning, I woke up, dude. My stomach was fucked up, dude. It hurt so bad. It is and funny. Was, yeah. The thing about that. Now that I think about it, everyone I know who drinks a ton is always like, oh, I had a bad hot dog at the Snoko. It's like, yeah. No, you're, you're no well. you were blacked out at the Sunoco. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's not the, there's always one food missile. Yeah, it's all, it's like, them. oh man, it must have been the chicken fingers. <laughs> it's like, dude, that's you eat chicken fingers every week. Must have been that batch of chicken fingers I barely remember eating at four <laughs> yeah, o'clock yeah. in the morning. <laughs> it's not sitting well with yeah, me right now. It's definitely not the alcohol consumption. <laughs> so far today, my stomach's good. Yeah. Which is, that's nice. You're in the clear. I'm in the clear right now, but. What's God, what's on the menu for today? Knows. What's on the menu? Uh, I'm trying. I don't know. Last night was just yogurt. Nice. <laughs> it sucked, dude. <laughs> I'm fucked. Just imagine you eating an Activia. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> right there. Eating an Activia and then putting it down and being like. <laughs> 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 you also got to You got to. You might have to switch to CNN, dude. Fox News are getting too fired, bro. I'm not being a jerk. I'm saying you got to just take it easy for a couple days. 
Is it just watch Wolf Blitzer? You say because I have tummy problems. I'm a CNN guy now. <laughs> You're telling me I got no, monkeypox, dude? No, 